Good day everyone, Braden here coming to you from Epcot with our fourth Epcot construction tour of the year for the month of April here to see everything going on in Epcot as it undergoes this dramatic renovation from the Epcot of old to the Epcot of new. Now is the new Epcot what it should be? Is it what we want? That's sort of another thing, but the fact is it is happening, so let's go see what's going on. Heading towards the temperature check here, I think it should be noted the Epcot monorail still is not operating. You've guessed spending so much money to be here, staying at the deluxe resorts to have that monorail access and still we have no Epcot monorail. Disney, bring it back. Here we are at the beautiful reimagined entrance to Epcot and you can see we have all this Epcot flower and garden festival signage. This festival will continue running through July 5th but Disney has just announced when the food and wine festival will be starting the next one after that and it'll be starting on July 15th. Remember back in the day when the Food and Wine Festival was this thing that happened later in the year? It was the fall event. Now it's taking up almost half the year, going from July 15th to November 20th, which just seems so wild to me. But there's the dates for the Food and Wine. I'm sure it'll be a great time. There you can see all the pavilion flags. The same flags are on each side of Spaceship Earth right now. People were asking what each symbol means. On the left you have the World Showcase, then you have the Land Pavilion, then you have the Seas Pavilion, then you have Spaceship Earth, then you have Journey into Imagination, and then you have the World of Motion, uh, which today is known as Test Track. The first new change since the last time we were here in Epcot is right next to the fountain going under Spaceship Earth. Disney has been doing some pathway work. Now we saw the first bit of this new pathway installed actually a pretty good while ago. The section right over here under Gateway Gifts. Now you can see that work on the pathway is extending this direction and it's gonna go around the underside of Spaceship Earth here over to the camera center side. Here you can see the old pink pathway and the new type of pathway, this new beige swooping pattern that will eventually envelop, it'll go all the way around Spaceship Earth, reaching around to where you're gonna have the Dreamers Point area, the Walt statue, as well as that new queue, load, and exit building for Spaceship Earth that we should be getting should that project actually get that going again. Right now, of course, it is on pause. And speaking of Spaceship Earth, looking up here at the ball itself, since our last Epcot video, the portfolio executive in charge of Epcot, Zach Ridley on Instagram, shared some photos, gave us a sneak peek of the LED lights that we broke the news of that are actually gonna be going up all around Spaceship Earth, giving it this really cool lighting effect that's going to go together with all the lighting we're already seeing in the center area. And it is true that they do look a little bit bulky. The reason they look like that, Disney actually made a TikTok and imagine you're explaining why. And the reason why is because it's not just a light that's pointing out at you. There's also beams of light shooting out each direction on the side, the side profile of each of those lights on each of the vertices at Spaceship Earth. So basically all the tiles of Spaceship Earth will be changing color as well. So everyone, right Right now, I am standing on the last remnants of the old center area here, the old Pin Central. This is one of those pedestals that held up those weird tiles that used to go above the Pin Central in the center area here. I have to say, I am kind of glad that that's gone. That never really looked too good. Interestingly, if you look at interventions right now, you can see that some more of the exterior facade, some of the paneling has been taken off as Disney continues work here on this area that in the future is going to be a new counter service location uh, to replace the electric umbrella. And it really seems like the work on the steel framing on the inside of the building, hanging the ceiling and things like that. It seems like we could be getting pretty close to that, especially looking over at Mouse Gear, which we're gonna take a look at in a minute. It's really good to see finally, it seems like on this side, things come together. Over here at Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, we don't have much of an update this time around. As you can see here, really not much more has happened since the last time we were here, except Disney has continued to put up that moisture barrier, uh, that blue sheeting you see there uh, to keep everything, you know, in very good dry condition here in the very humid Florida climate. At this point, while I still think there's some more sheeting that needs to go up on the roof, it still seems like they're doing work on that portion. If you look at the entrance facade, at this point, it looks like they're almost ready to go forward with actually theming it, putting together the stucco and things like that, which I think is the next thing that we can expect to start seeing here now that it seems like the bare bones of the attraction on the inside and the outside have finally reached the point where they can be themed. Over here at Interventions East, where the future permanent mouse gear building meets up with the temporary location, the temporary mouse gear over here, in past months, if you looked right through here, you could see all the way through it over to the land pavilion. Now you might notice the breezeway has been covered with tons and tons of scaffolding. In past months, construction crews have been using various pieces of equipment uh, that sort of bring them up to the ceiling of the breezeway here so they can do work on it with welding and putting together the steel framing for the new layout, the new look you're gonna have here at Interventions on the inside and the outside. Now we have all this scaffolding, which means Disney's doing so much work up in this area right now. Uh, the scaffolding just gives them very 
quick, easy access so that they can work on the entirety of the ceiling over by the refurbished Epcot Future World East bathrooms. There are a lot of people. It is spring breaks. So there's just a lot of people generally in this area. You can see the lines over here at Test Track. Not too bad right now, but that line is definitely looping around, extending outside of Test Track uh, down the pathway here. Look at all those people, oh boy. Here over by the Imagination Pavilion, you can see there's a bit of a line here to take photos with the Lion King topiary scene here. Spaceship Earth in the background. This looks so awesome. We've arrived at my favorite spot to view the construction progress, looking into the middle of Epcot here at the Epcot Crater. The first thing you're gonna notice, since last video, all of Interventions West, it is now demolished. That entire side, the building that's been here since opening day, is officially gone. You know, a lot of people were like, is this really a good idea? Well, at this point, you know, it's gone, right? So now it's really a question of what is Disney going to do with this space? We know the elevated building, that is not happening at this point. Uh, so there's a question mark as to what's gonna go over there. I'm hoping it's more than just, you know, some turf on the ground and some food booths, but we'll just have to see. And then of course, we're also gonna be getting Moana Journey of Water, which is actually the one thing on this side of World Celebration, this new center area on that side, that I am excited about, because we don't really know what else is going over there. So I guess it's wins by default, right? So why I am a little bit excited for this attraction is it seems like it's something that Imagineering's been wanting to do for a long time, and it's not something that started with we need to make something about this movie. Instead, it started with, what if we just made a really cool water attraction and then the Moana part came later? That's my understanding there. And then looking to the other side of the Future World Crater, which is much more exciting, if you look over on that side, we already saw what's going on in the Interventions East, that northern section where it's all open right now and they're doing a lot of the steel framing on the inside and also the breezeway, of course, we took a look at. If you look at the new permanent mouse gear, you can tell that is currently the priority in this area where you can see all the cherry pickers up there right now during guest hours here getting that all done getting it all put together the glass is on we know that they've already put some design elements on the inside of mouse gear there and definitely the interventions east side is the side that disney's focused on because obviously if they can get this side furnished if they can get it done where you have a new restaurant you have the new permanent gift shop then you just have to put down some pathway and finally there will be a way for guests to go from the front of epcot directly through over to the World Showcase. Whereas right now, you have to do this really convoluted bypass system going way over by Guardians or way over by the seas, where currently there is no way to just cut right through Future World. So I think a priority for Disney is improving the guest flow there and getting this whole area finished. But I have to say the pace at which it's all coming together could definitely be a little quicker. Heading over to the World Showcase to see what's going on with the harmonious barges. That tallest one you can see all the way over from Spaceship Earth, by the way, uh, from that pedestal standing on Earth here look at that you can see it all the way over here we are in this area by the port of entry and it's just so beautiful all dressed up here for flower and garden here at the world showcase lagoon the future site of the harmonious nighttime spectacular you can see our current look at the barges here what it all looks like right now there's only one barge left that needs to come out to complete the look they're going to have in the middle of the World Showcase Lagoon here. Right now we have the central barge out here as well as three of the LED screen barges. You can see right now there are workers working on the barges. If you look in the middle, there's actually a pop-up canopy uh, where it looks like there's a lot of work going on on that center barge. If you're wondering why that one doesn't have a screen, what that's about, it's actually going to be a water projection screen. So around that ring, you can see there's all those pipes and they are going to spray water into the center, uh, creating that mist curtain that will be projected on and then during the daytime to try to disguise uh, what these look like. You know, the screens are pretty big and of course during the day there's not any media on them. What they're going to try to do is have fountains going off of them uh, so it sort of looks like there's a giant fountain in the middle of the World Showcase Lagoon. The water is going to be coming off of the moving arms as well as the barges themselves. I think this is an effect we're also going to see used during the show itself. The sheer scale of what's out here and the technology behind it, this is some pretty groundbreaking stuff out here and I'm sure it is going to be very visually stunning at night. But sort of the theme looking around Epcot today, the common theme you might notice, uh, whether we're talking about the LEDs on Spaceship Earth, which sort of have those bulky housings, you know, looking at the barges out here on the World Showcase Lagoon, it's not so much the fact that what Disney's doing with this Epcot overhaul is bad. I'm sure for what this stuff is made for, it's going to be incredible. More of the concern right now is how much thought went into what this stuff looks like when it's not running, right? When Harmonious isn't going, what does this look like during the day? What does the Guardians building look like during the day? What is Spaceship Earth with the LED housings on it? How is that going to look during the day? 
And I guess we're gonna find out for sure how much consideration was given to all this, when it is all complete, when Harmonious is going to be done. Disney recently said it's early in its development stages or something like that. But looking at the infrastructure out here, while there's still a lot of work going on with it, the barges themselves were far enough along where they no longer needed to be in the backstage of Marina, and now they are permanently here in the middle of the World Showcase Lagoon. So as far as the technology itself, it does seem like it's pretty far along. The infrastructure Disney has going here. The question now might be, what about the media for the show? What about the music? What about the visuals? That might be something we're waiting on. And then looking over at the Guardians coaster, especially there, we know for sure that's the case. As director James Gunn was recently going through his list of projects uh, that he's working on, that he still has to do, and filming the media for the Guardians coaster is one of them. So you have to consider while we are tracking the physical construction here month by month, there's also a whole other aspect to getting all these things done, whether you're looking at the Guardians coaster or Harmonious here, and that is the creative, doing stuff with computer generated imagery as well as of course in the case of Guardians you know they have to get the actors together and they have sets and all sorts of stuff for this new attraction that's going to be projected on the projection screens inside of the coaster itself so we'll keep you up to date on all that that's the latest here in Epcot by the way if you guys would like to support these videos if you'd like to see more like it in the future be sure to check out our Teespring store link in the description below if you go to mickeyviews.store uh, you can find all of our merch a lot of it uh, related to this beautiful beautiful place we are in right now you can see my shirt right now is sort of paying homage uh, uh, to the new Epcot sight lines. A lot of more people recognize me today than usual here in Epcot, and I think that's because right now a lot of people from all over the world are here in Walt Disney World, and they're the sort of people where when they're not in Walt Disney World and they want to see what's going on, they want to stay on top of what's going on, they're watching videos like this. So I want to thank all of you so much for watching. Uh, it means the world to me. And also a few of them said that they recognize me because of the shirt, uh, which is pretty funny as well. So that's the latest here at Epcot. Thank you so much. Be sure to subscribe with those notifications on so you don't miss any of the awesome content on the way. We'll continue doing these Epcot updates as well as covering all the other news, all the other developments here in Walt Disney World and beyond. Live from here in Epcot with the harmonious barges behind me, this is Brayden. Have a magical day.